Welcome back. Well, if you're anything like me, trying to paint your own walls can be <laughs> even more than a daunting project if you've never done it before. Yes, but with a few tips and a few items from your pantry, mm -hmm. believe it or not, or, you know, closet, uh, you can have professional-looking results without really a, a big hefty price tag. Amen. So yeah. with us this morning, the wall wizard. Love this name. Brian Santos is going to be the featured speaker this weekend at the mm -hmm. home show. Thanks so much for being here. Good oh, morning. my pleasure, really. I um, love going out and teaching. This is one of my passions, so, yeah. You know, you're going to pack the stands this weekend. People are thrilled to have you here, well, so. Well, thank you very much. You're yeah. welcome. Well, the wall wizard, you know, where did that come from? Um, to be honest with you, the uh, it, it wasn't bestowed upon me. I, I have my own paint wallpaper company in the San Francisco Bay Area. Mm -hmm. We had finished a project. A woman walked in and says, this is amazing. You must be a wall wow. wizard, wow. wizard yeah. 30 years ago that's when it started and a, a wonderful career and i do a lot of home and garden shows across the united states so i'm yeah. glad to be here and you've really worked with a lot of artists too i'm sorry sorry celebrities yeah uh, in the san francisco bay area george lucas uh, did a skywalker ranch and then oh. we also did uh clint eastwood's house a lot of very famous entrepreneurs uh, steve jobs apple computer we Not did nice. all their facilities hewlett packard uh, so we're very comfortable in working with celebrity, but my passion is working with people just like you. Oh, good. Because I know that you have a project, and you're like, oh, I don't know if I could do this or not. Right. And Chris is like, I'm hopeless, so don't, <laughs> I am hopeless. don't even talk to me. <laughs> but the good news is you were kind of going through some of these items here before we started, and, and I have most of this stuff in my house, which is a good mm -hmm. sign. So you're going to make this very simple, Absolutely. Yes? Well, my brand new book is called <clears throat> Painting and Wallpapering Secrets. This okay. is my 14th book, and this is probably the best because I've taken all the genres, the wall covering, the faux finishing the painting and put it all into one book and so we're going to be selling them at the uh, home show okay. i'll be doing autograph signing and some other things but what i'd like to do is sort of step you through some of the process now first thing do you guys like the smell of paint um, sometimes yeah. yeah you're both sick okay <laughs> <laughs> I hate not smell. really <laughs> here's a little tip for every one quart of paint you put four drops of vanilla extract in the paint it takes the smell out it won't hurt the paint doesn't change the color uh, really? It doesn't have to be a vanilla. It could be peppermint, blueberry. It could be like Willy Wonka. Have different flavors. Nice. There you go. Yeah. And it doesn't change the color. Does not change okay. the color. And it could be imitation or it could be the real deal. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, other things like, uh, for instance, chapstick. What yeah. I do is use that on the inside of windows so that I don't have to put masking tape. Don't use Vaseline because it smears all over the glass. But a uh, wax will repel the water and won't let it stick to the glass as you paint the uh, sashes and so forth. And then you clean it up, of course, with wet ones. Okay, nice. these work really well because it's alcohol landlin. It's the alcohol that's going to dissolve. And this is what I use to actually wipe down your countertops uh -huh. as well as any type of moldings before I paint. We don't use soap and water because it'll actually leave a residue. And this is alcohol, so it evaporates. It doesn't leave any type of residue on the surface. I, I figure if it's good for your tushy, it's good for your work. <laughs> yeah. So um, other things, too. You can use, like, plastic wrap as a masking technology. I use this on doorknobs. I use it to go over like countertops or faucets as I'm painting a ceiling, so I'm get little splecklies and splatteries. Oh, um, I'll put those over my glasses, so if I'm painting a ceiling, I don't that's get little right. splatter. Oh, nice. Why not? Nice. Right? Things like that. So, um, what would, um, for instance, let's, what do you think Pam would be used for? Any any guess? Oh. Think about it. Uh. Man, I, I well, wouldn't have. <laughs> Love it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Stump the hose, okay? I barely know how to cook, so <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Spray it on your skin, and okay. that way the paint won't stick to your watch ring or you, okay? So uh, my grandfather used to do that with olive oil when he painted, and that way he just wipe off at the end of the day. But there is a secret. Okay. Be sure you use the original flavor. Don't use the garlic version, just to let you know. Okay, <laughs> that, that would be awful. That would be terrible. <laughs> now, other things, too, and this is a little bit more serious note, is a lot of people have problem with masking tape, yeah. okay? And one of the secrets we talk about the show and I'll be doing three one-hour classes so it's a and you start with painting and then we do faux finishing and then you can ask uh, quiz the whiz which we're gonna be talking about any questions that you guys have about home improvement uh, we can take any plastic knife and what we do is we take the masking tape and then we score right along the edge and what this does is actually melt the wax that's at the edge and it stops the paint from going underneath so it stops it from leaking, yeah. Now, Okay, hold that thought. We're going to take a commercial break sure. and be right back with many more tips from the Wall Wizard. <laughs> Stay close. 